Hello guys, um, one more short video with something I hope you are gonna find interesting. This one is gonna be how to deform a PRT loader with some kind of a fluid simulation from a fish tank that so often happens. Uh, you know, you simulate your stuff in a flat plane of water and then you want to displace that, like to deform it so it uh, has some kind of a, like a sea ocean surface on top. Uh, which is quite easy to do. And you can see here I have the um, Houdini Ocean, like the ocean uh, geometry, just above the PRT loader. And basically what the PRT loader is doing is that it's shooting a ray upwards to the geometry and it's finding the Z position of where the ray it hits. And then it's just uh, comparing this to the Z position of the object itself. And this is giving you basically how much displacement, you, how much Z offset you need to apply. And I'm applying the same Z offset to the particle that shot the ray. Um, obviously useful because then you can uh, send this stuff to um, frost or you know do whatever you want. It's you get uh, the ocean effect on your simulation. So I'm just gonna start over here, and this is how it is uh, looking in the beginning. You can see it's something falling. Uh, creates a splash and uh, the water is in this uh, fish tank box. So add magma mo modifier on top and I'll cast my arrays. So start with the position of the particle in world space, how the ray casting stuff works and I'll get the input object for the plane and input geometry to cast array towards, like the geometry and the object are separate. Um, then I can get the intersect array. So origin is the particle origin, then I have the geometry, and ray direction is up. Shift 3 is Z, Z1 vector. So, I have the position where the intersector hits, and I need to subtract this from the position of the object to basically find the local Z. Um, get this guy here, and I can add property query, get the position from here, I can say V, or actually C, convert, breakout. So here I have the Z, and I can do the same thing here for the particle position. Actually, for the hit. So when I have these two Z's, I can just um, select them and hit subtract and yeah, make it the Z's. And I need to subtract the hit position from the uh, pivot, posi uh, pivot position, so just switch the order of these inputs here. Okay, so now we have that Z and I need to add that Z to the existing local Z. So we'll need a vector to compose a new position out of and the X and the Y are gonna be the same stuff as the original position. So get the original one, X and Y are the same. And Z is has the the offset added to the old position. You can hit the tilde key to get to the active type kind of thing in. You can say out pause. So this is get me the position. If I hit update, let's see what happens. Yeah, the whole thing got um, scaled rotated. Uh, this is because the purity loader has scale and rotation applied because it's coming from NIAD to deal with the change of your system units and the uh, axis change. Like NIAD is Z uh, is Y up, obviously. So I can hit easily T and I can say from world and this is gonna convert the coordinates back into the object space. 
which is necessary for the object node. So if I look here, you can see that there is some displacing stuff going on. Um, but it would be very cool if I could see in the viewport like how much where displacement happens, so I can uh, have a better visual cue of what's going on. So I will create a viewport color and I can get a blend. So I do this all the time, so just blend like shift 0, shift 7 between black and white for the viewport color and I will get the this amount here which I which um, I offset with and this amount can be either positive or negative just because the point where we shoot array to might be above or below the local Z so I need to normalize this taking care for the negative stuff too and I will just divide it by something to, to normalize it you know let's say 20 and because this would make it like go from basically minus 1 to plus 1 I'm gonna add 1 to it and I'm gonna divide it by 2 like standard procedure for normalizing stuff which goes to negative also so update let's see you see we already have that color thing happening now the only problem is that it's basically inverted so you can see here like basically wherever there is a there is a ridge it's supposed to be a ridge there is a there is a um dent and the other way around i think that will be visible if I increase the height of the waves. I think actually that's pretty much correct. Okay, so um, if I want to... I remember it was inverted before. I did something wrong. So if I change this here to let's say 60 because I made the wave height 60 this will get nice and normalized again you see it gets whiter where the displacement is going up it gets darker where displacement is going down and um, it is quite fast which is a nice surprise this scene has like here in the viewport it has like um, almost 400,000 particles still moves quite quickly and of course on top of this you can even put a, a frost so all this stuff will be visible as a mesh so if I isolate this you can see here even with the union of spheres so there you go um, a very easy way that you can uh, apply displacement from kind of ocean style uh, or any other geometry um, type of uh, modifier or the surface into your PRTs. So enjoy and see you next time.